last week we pre-recorded our episode, which meant that I accidentally didn't know that we ended up getting COVID for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks. My wife so, doesn't normally get me much. Okay. This year she gave me COVID. I already, you guys don't know this, I've been planning since September to surprise Tommy, and I actually went on a limb on live radio on Jeff's um, show, and I was like, guys, please don't tell Tommy because it's a surprise, but I am about to tell him that we're going to go to New York for Christmas on his, and his birthday. All canceled. Yeah, that due to COVID. That uh, due to I gave him COVID. That party you went to or took me to uh, was a parry. It was apparently a petri dish for uh, for COVID. I mean, uh, so it basically I I feel like I was so excited about just like taking the trip and seeing everybody, and I kept I like kept it in, and like so yeah, many. Yeah, usually not good at that. Usually not good at the surprises. But, you and give then it away. I, I really like got, get so much joy. Now, like my cousin Ziba wanted to know if you hate surprises. Uh, it depends. I told her that you like. I a don't surprise. like when you make plans for me. That's different than a surprise, like walking into a room or you know, like here's something I got for you. That type of surprise, that's cool. Like, but I like if you like Baskin Robbins is fine. That's yes, a good surprise. yes, that's a great surprise. But, but like is getting on your- three weeks from now, on a Tuesday, we're going to blah blah blah. You know, it's like whoa. Unless wait a it's second, like a I don't steakhouse. Know. Then you would like it. It depends. Depends. I don't know. I don't know what I necessarily have going on. You know, I don't like someone saying this is this is what we're doing. So was I, but it's funny because I do that to you. That this that this is what we're doing. Yeah, you, you do know. That. Um, but I have to ask you the main question: Is do you did you like my surprise, even though I didn't that we couldn't go? Because um, I was like, I w- was looking forward to sharing it with you for a very long time. And yeah, it was definitely very thoughtful. It was definitely very thoughtful. And uh, I hope we can get over with this stupid COVID nonsense so that, you know, every, we can put this behind us and we can start doing that. Cause but I, I mean, I would love did to you want to go, like, are you disappointed or are you proud of me? Did I do good for yeah, this? Yeah, it was, it was very, When you very look thoughtful. back on December and 21. Stealth. And it was stealth. Very, it was very thoughtful and stealth. Continue, please. Elaborate. There's really nothing <laughs> else beyond that. It was very thoughtful and it was very stealth. No, because nobody knew. Because you know what? How to keep a secret? You don't tell anybody. Exactly. Yeah, and I didn't fucking tell anybody. Um, that's, that, None I'm of your stunned. friends. I'm stunned. Do you know how hard it was for me I'm not to, to withhold it from Jessica, to withhold it from Christy and Vinny and the McCabe's were the only people that, that I actually someone. felt comfortable. And I knew yeah, that someone. if I tell Johnny and Johnny's going to tell his brothers, then it's going to stay right there. Yeah. But like I was even afraid to tell like Sammy and Allegra because I didn't want them to casually mention it to you. So I don't think I told. Well, actually, I think I told Allegra. I'm sure you did. I'm sure there's a. But I didn't tell Christy or right. Danielle. Well, because I thought Danielle will tell Craig and then Craig these, will tell you. None of these, pe- these people don't know who you're talking about. You're yeah, they do. Off names to people right. don't know. All right. But uh, delete, yeah, delete. I mean, look, we're, this, this is the first time we're filming this. Um, second so, second you know, time because the first time we fucked up and we couldn't yeah. put I couldn't put a sentence together. Yeah, all of a sudden, she and got you shy. were so mad at me. All of a sudden, you guys, he shy. was like, "You fucking could do live radio all on Sirius XM, and you can't get from this side of the hello to the other." Yeah, it was, it was, was crazy. Like, Buzzkill hater. It was crazy. Helena but hater. This was you know we we've been trapped in the house for the last few weeks years. Because of the COVID, uh, so this was the first time that we actually went out this week. And we it's holidays. It was delicious. And it's holidays, yeah. which I want to say it's not that holidays. The holidays are over. It was though. No, was I'm it? still our fucking Christmas tree is still up. Yeah, bro. but that's, that's just because we're so, that shit. No, but it's still the holidays. It's still not that late. I think little it's Christmas still is January. early enough to say Happy New Year. Yes, yes. What? Where's the deadline? Uh, it's, What's the threshold? It's a very, um, what do you call it, controversial question. Very. Because I hear people saying, after the third, fuck you. Yeah, that's a little hostile. Yeah, she, it, I way heard to, it from a hostile that's person. That's not the way to go into the new year. Some people get But mad. I understand. I've yeah. heard that too, that your friend, whoever said that's not the only person that, that flies that flag. It was There Bethany. are a bunch of people that I know that it are was, like, oh, the fifth, go fuck yourself. How's that? <laughs> You know what I mean? Whoa, take it down a notch. It was, it was, I'm loosely paraphrasing what 
my interpretation of Bethany Frankel was that she said on her pod. She was basically like, please and no thank you on the happy new year after the third. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, okay. What I want to say is I hope that we go to New York because I'm my heart is still emotionally attached to that trip. Yeah. I really want to make it up as soon as we can. Yeah, but I'm not looking to go when it's going to be half-assed New York. Everybody's got to wear masks everywhere and everything's okay, okay. closed. All right. so, and, you know, I might, I'd rather wait till spring. Spring, spring um, as sprung. Can I tell you something I've been doing since the New Year started? Drinking soda? Something new I've been doing. What? So I made a decision and I wrote it down and it's in my calendar and it's in my journal and... To get dressed, like not just be in dirty sweats and ugly t-shirts okay. that are four sizes well, too Well, you big got for enough me. clothes. Yeah. You know, you got enough clothes. So every day I was like, even if it's going to be a gym outfit, it's going to be a 10. Okay. If it's going to be a loungewear, it's going to be a 10. All right. 10s Anything, across the board. No matter what, it's just give them the 10s. Give them the 10s. And if it's not a 10, I'm going to donate it, which I've given you how many bags? Uh, a bunch. Except, okay, so the one exception to that, I've been loving getting dressed and, like, seeing you make a little more effort. That makes me happy. Like, when I'm down a pound and you're down 10 pounds, like, that makes me happy, which right now I am down, like, at least half a pound. Okay. Um, so. That Christmas goose I cooked, as uh, I, I was making some progress, and uh, it definitely. And then your conscience called. No, that, go yeah, that goose. I, I put, yeah, I, I had a, you know, I had a, it was killing me. Um, I just wanted to say that the, the other controversial thing that I brought up was that do you get dressed up to not necessarily go anywhere? I think that's dumb. I, no. I do. Your I think closet it's dumb. is going to go out of style. It's not going to, it's not going to be cute forever. Okay. It has a shelf life. Okay. If you want to just, what am I wearing today? I'm basically wearing a very casual outfit, but instead of wearing like what I've been you wearing. You know, that looks casually and very comfortable. Yeah, I'm wearing My sneakers. thing is, it's all about comfort. If you're not going anywhere, really I'm just going to dress comfortable. I'm not going to. No, you have to look decent. I think for me, what I'm doing, which I think is brilliant, is looking in my closet, and I have to do it quick. Like, I'm not going to spend more you don't time. Do, you don't do anything As I'm quick. putting the outfit together, you, you don't do anything I'm quick. saying, see, that didn't take any longer than it did to put on sweats that were gray and whatever, <laughs> tied up. In real time, I promise it wasn't as fast as you just made it. Part of the rule is that it has to be something quick. That's yes. why I usually wear sets, because you don't. I can't spend a lot of time getting dressed. Then that is counterproductive to my goal, because my number one goal um, resolution is being efficient. Okay, that's a good goal. That's a and good goal. And boss as fuck. B totally boss as fuck. Totally. Totally. So I'm already feeling that. Yes. I look like a boss right now. Totally. 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 No, you look great. Thanks. You look great. Those are nice earrings. Craig and Brennan. Yeah, yeah, you can't say I don't try. No. <laughs> Those are nice earrings. They're a little big. The yeah. bigger the hoop, the bigger the housewife. Ho! Housewife. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought it was oh! housewives. Okay. All okay. right. Um. So yeah, this uh today get back on track. We're gonna talk about that one time that we moved into our dream house. Yes. Well, I don't want to say it's our dream house because it was, it was for the moment of our got, life. Yes. For yes. that moment in our life. That moment in time, absolutely. Because it's a great house for no children. Great. And it's a great house for like sexy parties. Absolutely. Which during COVID you can't. If we had that life, it would really suck. Yeah. Because well, it, no one can come over and we'd have super spreader events every weekend. It, it, but it would it, it looks sterile. Like a little easy good way. to clean. You know what I mean? Wait, wait, if, wait. It's in when you no one's seen this house. It's yeah. a beautiful mid-century modern oh, home no, it's beautiful. with concrete and glass. Yeah. So when you say Cyril, people think of like a sanitarium. No, but I'm saying like if if you can to clean that, 
It wasn't that difficult. It was clean lines and minimalist. There weren't any toys around. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It was sexy. There were fires. Oh, yeah. It was, it was very, there very was nice. There was indoor. There was outdoor. There was a jacuzzi outside, a deep pool. Yes. Beautiful was, views. It was beautiful. Walls of glass. Yes. 1,200 feet high in the Hollywood Hills, Laurel Canyon. Laurel yeah, Canyon. yeah and, but it, it fell into our lap. It wasn't the plan. That wasn't something that we were looking to we do. Were, we had already moved. We were waiting for my dad to come home. God, you, you we were when we lived at Doheny before we moved into our dream house of bachelor, but married. We were gay, engaged. Yes, we were engaged. Um, it and, was, and part of part of we the were privilege for my dad or, to come move down the hall from but, us. But what people don't know, she she or maybe they do. She owned the condo, so it wasn't like all you had to pay was the maintenance fee and the bills. Which condo? The condo at Doheny. So but when we, moved we in together. when so you guys were basically on our third spot. When Tommy and I met on Tinder, we both lived by Runyon Canyon. Yes. Then we moved to Doheny in order to be close to my dad, but we, he didn't ever make it. Yeah, then no, your we thought moved process. to our Hollywood Hills house, yes. which was our dream house for people without children. Yeah, well, the thought process when we moved into Doheny <laughs> was that we were going to be there for a little while. Yes, uh, because, like two or three years, probably because more. Because your four father or five. was going to move. The longer, in. the more years my dad was. Exactly. A, exactly. He yeah. was going to live down the hall. But one of the benefits for me, again, we just got engaged. You know, I started making some money at work. Uh, was we were going to save on bills. She owned the place, so she told you know it was just you pay all the bills. It was you cheap. pay them. No, it was a very very inexpensive. Well, let me word this properly. My parents bought me that condo in the 90s. So long story short, the mortgage was small. Yes. If the, not the, paid the, off. The cost to live there was not expensive, but I paid that. And so, it, Yeah, and it wasn't expensive. Like now everything's through the roof. Yes, yes. Right. Uh, now, was, yeah, it's a lot different. But yeah. then, so I, I wasn't looking to go move somewhere else, increase our expenses, and we had just moved. You know, I was the guy that had we to also, carry everything. Yeah. She packed. I'm not saying she didn't pack, but I was the one that had to carry everything. So I wasn't in a rush to have to go through that again. And, it, you know, it wasn't like the next day, but it's um, like we only lived there eight months. Don't, I try think, to, eight, months. don't try to skip through that you packed. I mean, I mean, the amount of effort that I it takes pack. to move us, you only having to carry to do those trips was a really big deal physically yeah. but don't just be like oh she she packed but i moved you I'm make not, it sound like you carried everything like you're a mover no I'm you not, didn't I, do any of that yeah i didn't I, the heavy lifting i didn't do okay but the minimal we as much shit that we could get them not to carry i can so the fragile things like you guys have you ever gotten the keys to a place and they let you move in before your movers date so then i would be like tommy could you take my shoes and my bags yeah. so that the movers don't have to handle that stuff? Hey, Tommy, can you take like my toiletries so that I have some toiletries before we move in? And then like there's like you put the soap in every bathroom, you put the supplies, you may you have to have like a vacuum cleaner there before move in date, even a sweeper, a dustpan. You know what I mean? But this wasn't you again, were doing all that shit. But re sorry, just to thank rewind, you. This wasn't planned at all. Again. She was working. Yeah. That's the only way this place. We weren't going anywhere. As we a were, real estate agent. Yeah. We thought that. As uh, a realtor. You know, well, again, she more thought than I did. I but was, she was expecting her father to come home and, and live that. down the hall. That was the plan. But she was also working and showing property. And she showed this place to someone. So people forget I'm a real estate agent. So in case you did, that's what you mean by I was working. I was showing yes. property to clients and they passed on this house. When I came home, I was like, we're moving. motherfucker, we need this house. She's like, we're moving. We're moving <laughs> to this house. It's in the hills. And when we say pass on the house. And I'm like, what? Like, yeah, you were like. No way, man. We just fucking moved. You know what I'm saying? We thought we came here for a reason. And the house was on lockbox, yeah. so I could just show it to him. So I was like. No, but that didn't happen right away. No, because you, you didn't even want to come. She said she had a dream. A premonition. Yeah, she said she had a dream that this was the house that we were going to live in. And then, I had a really positive dream about yeah. it. Yeah, and then she got, uh, she applied, and they told her to beat it. They told her to it's kick not rocks. applied is not the is oh, not the word. Yeah, no, the guy who who, so, who she showed okay. because she's a realtor. She didn't. She said as a realtor, she couldn't discourage him from owning the place, so he had to not want it. And then he eventually not no, didn't no. want it. 
and she was very excited that he didn't want it because now she could go after it. Hey, and immediately they told her she was beat. You guys, you butchered that with incorrect facts. But I, the point is that when my clients passed on the place for sure, then... You wanted it. Then I came home and I was like, damn, why don't we take it? No, again, I was never into it we until had no, they told you no. no. When they told you no, then they brought, then you said, you have to see this place. I love it so much. And you brought me up there to look at it. And I immediately was like, whoa, we got to move here. Because yeah. again, I'm so, a kid from Queens. Let me clarify. I just want to say, when you say I applied, whatever, yeah, what it, no, you, you what it is, to move in. what it is, is okay. the people appraised us on paper and saw reality yes. person, they, personality, they're in, the, they're in the business and said, no, thanks. We don't think we need a reality star. Yeah, they, right away. They were um, like, no, thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. But no, thanks. So I go, excuse me. I totally understand what you're. You you see that on the paper, but please meet me at Melrose Tea. Well, more importantly, the underlying fact and is then my wife gets what me, she wants. My wife is going to get what she wants. I just thought that he should. I said, I'm also a landlord, so I understand that it matters to you who's going to fill up your space. But I just want you to meet me because if you then don't feel comfortable, then, OK, I totally get it. And he met me and he was like, yes, I would love for your fa- for you to start your family in this house. Although he didn't. I mean, he didn't say those exact words because that would be weird probably, right? I don't know how weird it would be, but it was definitely... But he totally you was down. You talked that dude into it. You, were, you weren't taking no, no for an answer. No, I didn't talk him into it. He met me. No, I understand. And but then he was like... you weren't taking no for an answer, and I respect that because, again, after I saw it... Oh, that's it, true. I originally couldn't have been more against it, but then when I saw it, uh, yeah, like I, like I said, it was that was a dream come true, man. I, I, I would always want to... Should I describe it? It was beautiful. It was on the show. Um, but yeah. Um, okay. Well, like you said, amazing space, like amazing space. We were not looking. We both thought we were going to be staying put for very good reason at Doheny. However, like once we got the idea, you and me, it felt like never before have we ever lived in a house that's like a mid-century modern walls of glass. I know I keep We're saying that. It house. was our dream house for that level in our life and we just did it. Yeah. And you used to take my dad all the way like those transfers in the Hollywood Hills. Yeah, no, I would this is Where I would carry him. I would, I would, have, I would to have to carry to him upstairs knock, and shit. And when you were at work, I would have to go and knock on our neighbors Marcellus yeah. across the street. And he'd be like, yes, what's up? Because we were like obviously super neighborly with them and they were at the sip and see and everything. And shout out to Marcel and Bessie. Um, the most gorgeous couple ever. Anyway, um, hey, Marcellus, can you help me take my dad out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you had to. And listen, that went on, you know, for till he was gone. But uh, but it he was, did spend, he loved that let house. Me, let me tell you another great story about my wife getting what she wants. We moved into this place, and again, it was beautiful. But the only rub, there was this big tree that was in oh, no. the corner of the view. I forgot it was, about that. It was in the corner of the property. <laughs> and it, like, it, it dropped acorns and shit like that. And it really obstructed what otherwise would be the whole, the like the of, whole landscape. I can't, you know, it was well, everything. you had a downtown view yeah of downtown la from, and you could see and from here sunrise. to downtown on on a on a yeah. on a, a, a not cloudy day, day pretty much every day yeah especially when you woke up sunrise whew, it was magnificent it was and, and she just decided now again it's a fucking tree because it was like um, this is a 300 tree. This, thing, this thing it's been there a long time because it was a 300 degree view yes so you could see the sunrise and the, the sunset. sunset it was amazing like i said it was a it was a dream come but i day. forgot about that part where she, she was the Again, neighbor a tree. This tree's been there, bro. It's a tree. And she decided, you know what? I'm done with the tree. I didn't. And she uh she I, went to not... the neighbor. She went to the neighbor and she said he no, was I like, didn't. you know, I was kind of thinking of getting rid of it too. And she was like, Yeah, I really think I think you should. I think so. The guy at his own expense 
paid to have this fucking tree removed. The next door neighbor. And then, like, like within two days, with the because again it was there for a little bit. At first she liked it because it put shade on the pool. She was like, yeah, you know, it's good. Cool. But she I did. Pool. But then it was like, you know what? Within a day, she from the time she liked it to not, she's like, nah, nah, now nah, it's gotta go. It wasn't a day. Must, it was like a year. No way, man. No way. I, well, no, you Three liked months. it for a minute. You yeah. liked it for a minute. I'm saying from the time that when you didn't when, like it yeah. to, or liked it to okay. not liking it, Can I that tree something? was gone in like a week. Can I say something? The fucking tree. Your timeline is. tree. Your it time, was gone. No. It was gone. And he did it. He paid for it. Like, what the fuck? Tommy. It's amazing when she puts a mind to okay. shit, bro. It's well, crazy. Thank you for the compliment. That's not at all what happened. It's totally what, what happened. What happened was that I actually, he initiated the conversation. Our next door neighbors said, I was thinking about cutting the tree down. What do you think? And I gave him the pros and cons, and then he cut it, and I was happy. No, bro, you told him to <laughs> And so is down, our amazing landlord, who I want to send... If we have another kid, we're naming. All right, you know what I'm saying. We're we're naming our kids after Mikkel and yeah. Um, what's her name? Yeah, that's that's we'll name the other one. What's her name? (laughs) What's her name? Um, I'll tell you in a second. Thanks. All right. So anyway, the dream of living into the sexy, moving into the sexy, like pie in the sky with beautiful views and our own pool, and it's our first time not living in a condo or an apartment and it's amazing. It's just um, like, I think that, especially considering that we ended up getting pregnant, that yeah, like, no, listen, is a house that you could it, only might, live in when you're this single might seem like a little bit of or an empty, newlyweds. This, sorry. this might seem like a little bit of an empty topic to everybody else out there, but for mean? us, you know, just moving into a house. We already moved in. It's like the third time we're fucking moving. But this is... No, it's the second. Yeah. What, oh my, listen. Over seven years. This house meant a lot to us. It's, you know, again, it was a dream come true for both of us. A lot tra- a lot happened to us in this house. Um, you know, her father passed. While we lived there. Um, my bed You know, rest. we got married. We got bed rest. Married had a baby. A lot went on there. So it always, you know, years from now, we'll always remember that house. Yeah. And it was a beautiful spot. I feel spot. like we should send something to them. What? A letter bomb? Now that we're talking about <laughs> it, it just makes me so sentimental. I oh, think yeah. that, yeah. You're, you're mental already. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, funny. All right, so what do you want to say about it? Uh, I think we said what we said. It was it was a really, uh, like I said, they, they, you know, she was, it, it impressed me. First that she got the place, you know, again, then, uh, you know, she uh, got rid of that tree, which was hilarious. But, you know, all throughout it. Then we had the baby there, you know, like she went on bed rest. She was, it, it, my wife was the shit in the I house. will say one thing. I'm so glad that we didn't move into that house and then like COVID hit so that we seriously. Oh, yeah. If, it if had been everything in our lives it been happened two years Actually, later. no, it was beautiful. So that you'd have the no, scenery. No, 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 but no. I know what you're saying. Part of what was great to was not how. not be able to entertain. Yeah. And have yeah, that house. Yeah. yeah Give uh, me a fucking break. Yeah, no. It would take like Showing 10 it off? No way. You got to show that off, bro. You got to show that shit off, man. If it's just you two, that's pretty vapid. You know what I mean? It's just me and you looking at look at off you, you know? Well, you that's guys, how it is for a lot of people right now that live. In yeah, I know, man. I, I mean, know. Long story short, it's thank God yeah, you for can't, everything. You, that's another thing you can never say either. You can't say uh, real quick, and you can't say long story short. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Where are you taking me after this? I'm uh, Look at me. I'm cute. I'm dressed up. Where are we going to take you? Take me somewhere. <laughs> We're gonna take, it's COVID. Take me. We just discussed this. Where are we going? Where are we going? Messed up. Take me to an Rob outside. Rob a bank? <laughs> Where are we going? That's a Sunday. you got to do that yeah. on a weekday. Oh, uh, yeah. Totally. Mm-hmm. Do you want the right professional? before they open or something. Okay. Yeah. What so you're here. <laughs> um, take me to a outdoor restaurant close by. Please. No. Please. We have a ton of food here already. No, we don't. Yes, we do. The last three or four meals that you've eaten were all delivery. Yeah, we got another delivery order literally right here waiting. I'm frothing at the bit to take it out. Might have to cut this episode down a little bit. Everybody can once again. Well, you guys want to look at me stuff my big fat fucking face? Because that's happening pretty soon. Okay. Yeah. But how's your new year going? How's your new year going otherwise? How's your power of three? Good. Good. Well, I, listen, this week I send the books. So that, that's got to count as like a good deed. T- 
times 30. You know what I mean? Mm, that's not what your original plan was, but three in one day is a no, lot. No, it's not three in one day. It's three over the course of a week. Okay. Three of, of each over the course of a week. Three compliments, three kind deeds, and... Uh, Especially three to your wife outs. when she asks you to take her out for a bite, and you're like, Meh, "Why what? would I take you anywhere?" I've right. already done them. Well, your power of three already done sound them. really good. I already I'm knocked them out, man. I've already knocked them out. Now we're going into next week. Right, How was your so Amazon you life? Me, um, I reached my goal. Okay, and set a new one because it starts over every thirty days. Okay, so it was my December goal that I accomplished. January, I just want to say it makes me feel so good talking about things because all my lives are about like this one was about like new year, new you. You're like QVC Kathy right now. Yeah. yeah. And I really fucking like it because <laughs> know, I'm not QVC Kathy. I'm actually going like this. Like I got Amazon this. Amy. I know. You're no, Amazon Amy. I got this and it makes me feel good. Good and efficient good. You look and great. organized and right. motivated. Like I am like new really you, excited. new you, man. New Listen, year. I like it. I like to see that you, you do that type Don't of shit. Man. Sneakers? Um well these are classic Reebok sneakers. Yes. They're awesome. You are all pinked out. You look at the pink panther. Um, okay. Yeah. But you look cute as hell. Thank you. So you know, I'm a kid from Queens, dude. I uh that's not something that I expected to do. And uh, I've been in a lot of parties up in those hills. And one thing I've always wanted to do is to say I lived up there. It's the California dream. And we did, man. And it was fucking beautiful, man. It was beautiful. It was a. It is beautiful. Yes. It yes. Is. And then I also wanted to say, even though we never knew that. Because I remember would be we're on we're, bed rest the whole time. We didn't know that going in. When the, we, were, we were engaged. Going no, no. in, we thought this is going to be a great like last hurrah spot. No, no, no. No, Tommy. We lived there for two and a half years. We had our bachelor period. But then when I got pregnant. Yes. We didn't know that half my pregnancy was going to be a bed rest Definitely in front not. of a mountain. So what I'm saying is. Whether it was good things that had to happen to us or bad things that had to happen to us, it was an amazing time to be in a place that was so sick. It was awesome. Yeah, man. It was It was definitely a point. You know, I'll look back on that place in my life and be very appreciative and grateful for being able to live there. A lot went on there. Um, we had a lot of good times. There was some sadness too, man, you know? Yes. And, um, but it was still, but it was a beautiful place to have to grieve. Yeah. <laughs> it really it was. was. Yes. I used to wake up, uh, look at the mountains and I used to believe that my father was right in the horizon. And I also looked at him for watching over my pregnancy when I would look at that same spot and I'm like keeping my uterus flat in order to not have a miscarriage. And I, I remember the proximity or early term or God forbid. Sorry, you can't say that when you're a mom. Yeah. Um, but the proximity to the airport was great, too, because when she was it on bed rest, oh, she would just sit there and call the planes out as they came in. There's another plane. Look, another one. Woo, look, another one. It was like living with Tattoo from Fantasy Island. It was. It, great. Was. it yeah. was like living in such a quiet place. Yeah, it was. Uh, it, yeah, it was uh, exceptional. I think that's so important, though. Clean. I think that if you're someone, if you're going to, before you get married, uh, you know, there's a difference between, you know, living in in, oh, in, yeah. your, in your uncle's, pl- or your, your family's say. place or, or you know, living in. You know, uh, everyone lives in there like you have roommates, you have your college dorm days, you have your adult first place. But like having a sexy pad in the Hollywood Hills for us was an amazing dream that like. Then quickly we started having a family. Like if we went straight from dating to having a baby, we wouldn't have, we would have missed out on a lot. Yes. Yes. I'm just saying. Yes. Well, I mean, the gum was, a, you know, sometimes you have a little bit more time when you're a little bit younger. We weren't we were a little longer in the tooth to be doing the things that we were doing. We wanted to have a baby if we were going to get married. Yeah. So, well, we never thought we were going to have children or find another. Like I probably had way more hope than you did to get married like I thought I, w- I always kind of thought I was going to get married even though I never thought about it but you I f- yeah I definitely never thought I was going to get married or have kids no um no. but the other thing is when you are a couple 
I think ha- having your own first place together is special in and of itself. Because even like there's times when like at first you guys live at like you live at his house or like the girl moves into her house. I said it backwards, but depending on your. No, it was, it, we moved into it was your place. Like that was clearly your time. place. The, when we moved into the Doheny, first place where your mother was, that was, was my your con- place. Yeah, that was your condo. You knew Big the lay of the land, the back of your hand. I already I was there since I was 19. Yeah, you knew everybody. Everybody knew you. Like people 19 to 34. It was like half my life. People that I don't know know you. Literally half my you life. You know what I mean? So like everybody knows you. I I was next door Nancy like Sally Chatty Kathy yeah I was everybody knew me so everybody knows me now and I don't realize that everybody knows me no so this is why you know to get out of there it made sense you know to 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 go to that house in the hills no no you always have to have your first place with your significant other the one that is new for both of you and that way you're not moving into his space. She's not moving into her sp- Like, everyone, like, has to make these decisions when, like... Because, like, think about it. If you move in with me, you don't need to call the electric company. Yeah. You don't need to, like, get wait half a day for the cable. Once you start to share those responsibilities as a couple, that's when hell begins. Yeah. Because you have to do all this stressful shit together yeah and then you have to get like the wrong couch and then like who turned on the sprinklers and whose responsibility is it to install the sprinklers like there's so much minutia that comes in and the place is empty because it's both of yours or you have a little bit of hodgepodge and then you have to get rid of stuff because it doesn't work in your new place even though it used to work perfectly in your old place i mean there's a lot yeah it it, uh Again, moving is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I'm a minimalist, bro. I'd rather throw it out, you know? Like, just throw, like... That's why take- my mom would th- shade you. And every time she wants to go oh, to, yes. like, the ugly place, she'll be like, you came to, with, uh, what did she say? Yeah, with nothing, you know? Well, when I, listen, no, when I moved out of something. Jamie's, no, I you, left all everything. She says something, though. Yeah. She says, like, what you came with. She has, like, a list. Yeah. And, like, so that she could say it wasn't enough. Yes. And you're minimalist, and you have to start fresh. Yes. I'm down to move again because the reason is I'm into this now. Like, Well, that was my big fear moving into every, where we are now is because it was twice the size of where years. we was, and I knew, oh, shit, she's going to find shit to put in this. I you know, she's going to find shit. And yet, what do you know? She has. I think, like, every four to five years is good. Uh, well, that's a very LA thing. It's a very LA thing. They I've do never, move around a lot. Excuse me, sir. I have not been a move around person. I've just told you that I lived in the same place from 18 to 35. Yeah, but since I then, you lived in four places. No. Since you and I met, yes. my life started to rock. Hey, oh hey. my God. Hey, yeah. Yo. Hey, yo. All, right. All right. So I got to go. Well, you, you gotta, you gotta go. get. I gotta get ready. You're gonna take me out. I'm not going anywhere. All right. Literally well, not maybe this, I can like, call one of my friends. Uh, yeah. I don't have any friends out here. Oh uh, no, that's not true. Who that's do true. I have out here? Literally none. Yeah. Uh, Who do well, I have? Name one person. Lock. Oh, Nini doesn't live here. Nini, you live yeah. in Long Beach. Yeah. And you're also going to dinner. Otherwise, I would totally be taking you out to dinner, to sushi. Totally. Totally. I'd totally. rather. I'd have way more fun if I was going out with her. <laughs> right, that's awesome. You, that's awesome. That's awesome. Obviously, th- we'd hang out. Thanks. We'd have a margarita. We would talk about stuff that we'd care about. Oh, yeah. You, you're going to be watching football. And if you brought the phone to the restaurant, you'd be like checking scores. Who wants to go anywhere with you right. on a Sunday? Yeah. Fit folks sake. So what? You're the one that fucking brought it out, man. Which brings me to one uh. thing. No, all I want from you to do for me today, but it's Sunday, so never mind, Jesus. is it would have been nice if you would have said, do you want to go to the comments for a half hour, for a scoop of ice cream? That would have been cool. Do you want to offer that? Do you no, want to put that on the table? No. Pa- uh, football no, will be over by seven. No, it's winter. I don't want to go fucking eat ice cream. I'm good. You eat ice cream every night. No, I know. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of ice. You're cream. a liar. I'm not a big fan. I'll send I you the I do videos. love that Snickers thing from Baskin Robbins, though. I must say that you've had three times. You guys That's on his delicious. birthday. On his birthday, we had COVID, so yeah, we had great birthday once again. Baskin Robbins delivered. Yeah, <laughs> three times in one night. Yeah, well, I only ate one of them. <laughs> three times in one night. I only ate one of them. Bullshit. I only ate one of them. I the other footage. two, it's not my. Show footage. the footage. Okay. Show it. Show what you got. I will. Show I was trying to got. be nice to you. It was your birthday. Thanks. I wasn't trying to incriminate you that day. Thanks. 
But don't worry. Now you're trying to. All right. The, the, the birthday's coming Speaking on. Speaking of which, sorry about you guys last time that we uh, pre-recorded so I could surprise my husband. So it was for good reason that we pre-recorded. But now, just to let you guys know, we're yeah. going to be recording in real time. For the and most part, I mean, we're filming, we'll be, so it, there'll always be a little bit of a delay. But now that we're filming No, it, but the pod that we're, like, it's today's Sunday, December 9th. Yes. January 9th. Yes. Today's Sunday, January, January 9th. 9th. Yes. And the, the pod, pod comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow. That That's not real time. It's, it's more real than, time-ish. It's more than the one time that I tried to surprise you and then we got COVID. And yeah. We, it's we didn't go anywhere. Long. <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyway, I love, I love today. Thank you for being here with me and- complimenting me no you looked great you look great and sorry we normally uh would uh My you know in the shot do the q and a's and whatnot things really got you know tossed over because of the fucking covid everything i pushed back blah 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 but uh before we get out of here i actually wanted to uh, someone made a review i posted it on instagram Someone made a review, and I, I thought it was great. I thought it was. So there was a beautiful review. I'm from not going to read it. It's on iTunes. It's real long. She said that and it was real thoughtful. You could tell the person was not a a stand for us. She wasn't. She right. likes us. That's why it matters. Yeah, she likes us, but it's not like she's in love with us. That's why it know. makes a difference because Absolutely. she was like, I actually was. She was being really looking, objective. She yeah, was, she was being Can objective. I just say what I, uh, it's on my Instagram. No, it's on. It's yeah. Go okay. Ahead. Um, she said. I don't necessarily like wasn't seeking out Tommy and MJ, but I was listening to a lot of Bravo podcast yes. personalities. She basically would give them and each a shot. She likes Bravo a lot. She watches yes. all the Bravo she's shows. She's a big Bravo fan. Yeah. So she'll, you know, if there's a podcast, she'll check it she'll out check and give it, it a out. shot. But for the most part, she's been turned off because she thinks they're more or less a lot of the Self indulgent. Not it's just they're more or less the same. They're talking about current events and blah, blah, blah. And, and I'm likes- not trying to, you know, uh, anybody on home. Bravo or anybody guys, I'm not trying to knock oh, that's those. True. That's true. Yeah, we're just I know. Yeah, totally. I, they, everybody teach their own. I just we could have made a totally. podcast for a while and we didn't because that was kind of what everybody wanted, and that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, you know the well, so the idea of what we're doing with kind of. You know, I think everybody has gone through at some point some of the things that my wife and I have gone through. That's why we like and to talk Narod. about it. We never met Narod until we met Narod. Yeah, but we also, the stories that, you know, we're telling, I think are very relatable as opposed to, we could just sit here and talk about, yeah, Andy Cohen got fucking too drunk on on, on New Year's Eve. It's not, you know, it's really not what we're looking to do. Shout out Andy Cohen. But, uh, you know, so she really touched on it. It was really thoughtful. It was her name's Noki Stevie. I'm gonna send her a shirt. So Noki, you gotta reach out to me because uh, I don't have. Uh, Noki your... is in the pasta. What no? G N O C C H I. Um. All right. Well, I loved it because Nok Stevie is the name. Uh, so, you know, DM me if you're on social, whatever, I'll send you a shirt. And I just, then, it was really thoughtful. Like I said, it made me feel good. You know, my, obviously people listen to this or really follow it because my wife has a huge fan base. Some people are familiar with me because of my wife. Uh, so I know that this podcast is only successful because of her. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was my idea. It was, it was my concept. So like if someone likes it, you know, it makes me feel good. And she took a, the time out to write a really nice review. We read all the reviews. You know, we appreciate it. It was very thoughtful it and I appreciate really, it. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah. And Say it again. And it was a, also like for someone to listen and then take the time to write something so thoughtful. Yeah. It means so much to us because we don't know what the fuck you think. I mean, we hope you love it. And yes. the best compliment you and I got from Layla recently was that she had to drive to and from Mammoth in order yes. to do something. Yes. And therefore... Probably get pickle. <laughs> you get did you get pickle Layla, on the drive? Did you get any Layla, pickles? Layla, you get pickle on the drive? Did Is you get any route? pickles in uh, Is the pickle Mammoth? on that route? I'm sure the male to female ratio in Mammoth is high. Yeah, it's Mammoth. <laughs> It's mammoth. <laughs> yeah. And I want to go skiing. Anyway, um, she said, you guys, I laughed the whole time. Am I doing a good impression? No. I L-O-L the whole time that I was there. I don't even know what that was. Laughed out loud. Yeah, no, I know that, but I don't know what the voice was that you just Layla. did. You made it sound like a fucking aristocrat. She's not, she's not down dynasty. I'm, that's my how she that's talks. That's your Layla? Okay. Yeah. All right. Guys. Yeah. I... 
Do you want to buy a house? Do you want to go in on that's what she, that's not how she talks? No. All right. <laughs> anyway, she gave us a compliment. All and right, thank good. you. Thanks guys for taking going out of your way. No, seriously. Thanks guys for going out of your way to be nice to us and tell us that you're enjoying what we're doing. There's nothing yes, wrong with yes. that. Yes. No, I really appreciate <laughs> it. Like I said, we both do. Uh, you know, that's what we do it for you guys, man. Otherwise, we'd just be just sitting here talking. And shout uh, out to Julie Bob. Yeah. So shout out, shout out to everybody that's out there listening. We appreciate you. There's that word again. We're real grateful for you. I'm sorry. I think we're both. We still. We're still just getting what? over the COVID. So we're still, I think we're amazing. I think we both today. Have a, I think we did a great job, sweetie. I think we always do a great job. Um, there was one more thing. What? <sighs> you. I just want to say for next time. Okay. There was a uh, thing that we always do. You said every week we're going to share something that's part of our... You said it. I didn't say anything. All right. We'll talk. Well, thanks, guys, for tuning in, Dirties. Yes. Thanks, Dirties. Thanks, Dirties, <laughs> for tuning in, for tuning in with us. Yes. Thank you guys very much. Look forward to seeing you next episode. We love you. Yes. Thank you guys so much for listening to another episode of Till the Dirt with Tommy and MJ. We're so happy you're coming on this journey with us. It would mean so much to us if you would rate our show, give us five stars, leave a nice comment, and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all our new episodes. You could also follow us on all platforms at Till the Dirt with Tommy and MJ. See you next week.